What's the tea? Who's driving this bus? <laughs> you thought you ate. Want to do a TikTok so goofy and ridiculous. I guess nobody's going to say it to my face. <laughs> These are all wise quotes from my senior class, just like I am writing an independent novel essay for Dr. K's class and discussing the themes of the novel. The themes of our class are independence, love, laughter, and sometimes tears. When people say high school flies by, enjoy it. I would always say, yeah, okay, but it is the truth. The shock we will all have to face will not be around our family that we have built anymore. I have been an MPA for 10 years, and the one thing that always remained was family. I have never felt so safe and felt that I could be unapologetically myself. I cannot give my speech today without highlighting how grateful we are to be in a safe space, especially with what's going on in the world today, and more importantly, the recent mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas. I am thankful to be in an environment where I have never felt in danger. I know that my peers would agree the same. Whether it has to do with being in the classroom, learning together on project week trips, or discussing what's going on in our personal lives. High school is high school. It still has its ups and downs. There have been many days for a lot of many hard days for a lot of us, and we all uplift each other. I realized how much we all cared about each other. Even like the time in popular literature when we had Darren's back when I got him trying to split a donut from his Krispy Kreme box. <laughs> There have been deaths in families and major changes in one daily routine. However, we all know once we get to Morgan Park Academy, we can be our best selves. We forget the words we have or often express them to one another and we'll often get each other's opinion or advice. The biggest surprise we all did not expect was COVID. We had to shift into online learning, hybrid learning, and cohorts. When we went into quarantine our sophomore year and thought we would see each other again in two weeks, obviously that was not the case. I thought this, going, this was going to tear us apart as a class and we would not be spending time together anymore. But looking back, I think it did the complete opposite. It brought us closer together. We got to see how each one of us lives on a daily basis. A behind the scenes look, if you will. We always refer back to quarantine and how it changed us so much. Whether it's me and Brooke being late to first period because we stopped at Duncan on the way to school, Elijah always taking selfies, and Ayana always making a TikTok, Angel constantly playing some battle game. Celia, Darren, and Mia arguing about women's rights. <laughs> Iggy and Jada cackling in the hallway. Hannah always asking for a photo for the yearbook. <laughs> Monov and DJ's bromance and having each other's back. Christian being nonchalant towards everyone and always wearing that yellow raincoat. <laughs> Jackson being the dad of the group, and Nyla somehow always in the hallway when she was supposed to be in class. <laughs> Those are daily occurrences, and that's a typical day. Don't get me started on what a very unpredictable day at MPA can be. We would not be where we are today without our teachers. I look at my teachers as a second set of parents. I can always come to them for advice or ask their opinion. Ms. McAllister is listening to all the tea, Ms. Penny keeping it real and not sugarcoating anything. Dr. K forever being supportive of whatever decisions we choose to make, and Ms. Etheridge preparing us for the real world. These past 10 years, I have met some of the most amazing people in my life, and our life is just getting started. Who can say they met their lifelong best friends at one school? Not many. We all come from different cultures and unique backgrounds that we learn something new about each other every day. This day was really one of the first days I realized how much I'm going to miss my family. Even though our class is not present, we still made sure to include them 24-7 in our senior citizens group chat. We all agreed that we would keep our group chat throughout our college years, so it's still as if we go to school together, so we will always be together. We have individual journeys and are going on different paths. We always show up and show out for each other. Cherry Ayana and Brooke on in state for tennis, DJ and Elijah getting a full ride, Mana, Merlin, Lydia, and Tiffany getting into top universities, Darren swimming at state, Alice, Emma, and Rocio joining, oops, sorry, joining our class from Italy, Christian getting into a seven-year medical program, Celia being student council president, Solana receiving the Warrior Award, Rory succeeding in fighting game tournaments, Hannah being a jack of all trades, Jade and Iggy being fashion icons, Fez being skilled on the soccer field, Jackson competing in speech competitions, Gigi and Chris taking on a computer science major, Dylan being an all-around intelligent individual, Anya's role in the Big Fish play, Mia always advocating for what's right, Angel chasing his sports management dreams, 
Chelsea being able to outrun anyone, Nyla following the prudential track, and Autumn being an honorary graduate. <laughs> How can I not brag about my class? One thing I can say for sure about the class of 2022 is that I am proud. I am proud to be graduating with you all from MPA. We have gotten to some of the most prestigious schools in the country. Many of us have gotten into our dream school and are going to attend our dream school in the fall. But when it comes down to it, it's not about getting into the best school we can. I know it's crazy for me to say, but the angle is that we are all unapologetically our best self. We take the words family, brothers, and sister literally. We will always have each other's support and know that we are in each other's corner and will never steal one another the wrong way. Believe me, Monica will tell you the smartest and most logical way to go about a situation. Just like how he would tell me how my speech is getting too long and I need to finish my point. <laughs> Myself and the class of 2022 would like to thank everyone who has helped us along the way. Teachers, family, friends, peers, and the faculty at MPA. We will make you proud and keep living up to the expectations that we will leave in the MPA legacy. Lastly, to my class, thank you. You guys have been my support system for the past 10 years. I love you guys. Most of us have known each other since we were 8, 15, 12, and even 5 years old. But even though we all met at different times, we know each other like the back of our hand. We have so many amazing memories to keep as we look forward and multiple opportunities waiting for us. We have been out the country together, have crossed many things off our bucket list together, a lot of disagreements, and consistent proud moments and astounding accomplishments. But the theme that always remained was family. Thank you. Thank you.